Hey everybody, welcome back to another build video. This is my Poison Dart Frog Vivarium. Here's my frog, species Dendrobates erratus. It's a small and relatively shy species, but very pretty and easy to care for. First thing I did was add a pump into the tank. This circulates the water and lets me have a waterfall effect in the tank, which I think looks great. Next, I cut out sheets of plastic and use these to assemble a frame for the waterfall and components to sit in. I cut out a small hole on the bottom of one of these pieces and covered it with mesh. This is to filter out small particles and make sure they're not sucked out by the pump. I took these sheets and glued them straight to the back of the tank using a black aquarium safe silicone. Whenever you use silicone in a build like this, you want to make sure you can let it sit for a few weeks afterwards uh, to make sure that none of the fumes affect your frog while it's curing. So I just siliconed everything together, taped it, and then I left it to cure overnight before I moved on to the fan. This is a small PC fan uh, that I boxed into a corner shape uh, and covered everything with mesh and plastic to make sure my frog couldn't access it. What the fan does is keep air circulating, which is good for the plants, and also stops condensation from building up too much on the glass so I can see it better. And I just glued this into the upper corner. This right here is the mist maker. I'm putting a cup in it so the waterfall pours into the cup, which fills up, which lets the mist maker start hydrating the tank. For hardscape, I used some large pieces of driftwood. I tried to attach them at different areas along all three walls of the tank so my frog could have lots of places to climb and I could spread out plants, and I siliconed them straight to the back of the tank. I took a piece of cork log and attached it to the fan in the upper right-hand corner to hide the fan a little bit, and then I started with the spray foaming. I'm using a black spray foam. When it cures, it looks a little bit like lava rock, which is super cool. Uh, and it also allows me to pin things directly into the background, which is incredibly useful. So I covered all the exposed glass with that black spray foam, uh, and then I peeled away the top to give it a rough appearance, which again gives it more of that rocky texture that you're looking for. Uh, and then any parts of the glass I wasn't able to reach, I then went back with dry pieces of foam and just glued or siliconed them straight to the glass to fill in all the gaps. Then I covered all that black spray foam with black silicone and I rubbed it in uh, with my hands. Make sure that you wear gloves if you're gonna do this. Uh, and now I could start sticking stuff straight to the background. So I used a mixture of sphagnum moss and coconut fiber to create this dirted background. Uh, and it really starts tying stuff together, makes it look a lot more naturalistic. You still have the black spray foam peeking through in some places, but it looks more like rock than just a bunch of foam that you've stuck on the back. So that's what it looks like once you've attached the dirt to the background. Next, I added a large piece of sponge to act as a sponge filter. So all the water that gets sucked up has to go through this sponge, and it's a great place for beneficial bacteria to grow. It's a very common thing in uh, aquariums. People will use sponge filters, and it's cool to have one built into the substrate of the tank. I added a rock to separate one small corner from everything else, so that will fill up with water and be a pond for the frog. Here's the substrate I'm mixing up. Uh, this is sphagnum moss, which retains moisture really well, some coconut fiber, and then lastly, aqua soil, which is an aquarium substrate. Next, I added the plants. I used a variety of plants, including rabbit's foot fern and trident fern. I spread the substrate evenly across the bottom of the tank, as well as the multiple tiers I had created. Uh, here I'm adding a syngonium. Uh, I also had um, red vein phytonia and a begonia plant on the right side of the tank. Here is oak leaf creeping fig. It's a great small plant that creeps up the sides really well and just fills everything in really nicely. Next, I pinned moss to the background foam. I pinned it in using straightened staples, and the moss really is what draws this whole tank together and makes it start to look finalized. Uh, it also retains moisture well, just makes everything look nice. Here's the tank two months later, and here's what it looks like in the daytime. I added some bromeliads on the left side, which in the wild is what they'll actually lay their eggs in, and as the tadpoles grow legs, they'll crawl out onto those little leaves you can see sticking out from the center, which fills up with water. The oak leaf creeping fit has spread like crazy. It looks amazing. It's really filled in the background. You can see the moss is doing great. Uh, and here's the frog, happy and healthy in his terrarium. Uh, there is the begonia on the right with the dark colored leaves. Uh, the syngonium's grown a lot. The red vein petonia has grown a lot. Everything looks great. Happy little guy.